Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss a case of progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. Progressive means that sign and symptoms will increase with time. Multifocal means that it spreads across many regions with many focuses. Leuco means white and encephalopathy means it involves the brain. Now, first of all, I would like to mention that it is a chronic kind of encephalitis. The earlier encephalitis we had seen, like HSV, those were acute. This is of a chronic nature. Now, moving on, what exactly is this? The underlying pathology is that demyelination of nerves occur except spinal cord and optic nerve. These two are not affected and this is worth remembering. You will see cytologic abnormalities in oligodendrocytes and astrocytes. Here's an image showing the different uh, changes. Uh, in oligodendrocytes, uh, the cells will be enlarged and they will be having these intracellular deposits while in astrocytes they also will be enlarged along with hyperchromatic nuclei and uh, abundant uh, mitotic figures as you can see here the oligodendrocytes they contain the jc virus particles you see these small particles yeah, these are the JC virus arrays, which we call them as. Moving on to the clinical features, you will see uh, the most common will be visual deficits, including a homonymous hemianopia. Other deficits you will see will include uh, dementia, then confusion, then weakness of the limbs like a hemi or a monoparesis, then Ataxia will also be seen and seizures will be seen if the cortex is involved. Now, moving on to the what kind of patients will you see who come up with progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy? The patients will mostly be immunocompromised and as expected, uh, you can see AIDS patients, then uh, you will see patients with hematologic malignancies, then transplant patients. Now, let's move on to a specific subset of patients. Some patients will come who have been suffering from Crohn's disease or multiple sclerosis and they will be being treated with natalizumab. Now, Patients who are being treated with natalizumab have increased chances of getting PMLE. So you would say while treating such patients, let's remove this natalizumab from their treatment and then the PMLE will subside. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. You see, if you withdraw natalizumab, you will set off a complex reaction which is known as immune reconstitution inflammation syndrome in short form iris if you remove uh, patients of crohn's or multiple sclerosis who are on natalizumab from uh, natalizumab hopes that pmle will subside it will give rise to immune reconstitution inflammation syndrome now let's move on to the diagnosis how will you diagnose such patients so as we already saw in the encephalitis if you remember the mri particularly the t2 mri was the investigation of choice it is more specific than ct and here also you will see enhancing lesions like in this image and they will be bilateral in nature and yeah that is mostly it uh, do remember that if you take a T1 MRI or if you uh, do an T2 MRI on HIV patient who has PML, you will not see any enhancement and it will be a non-enhancing lesion. Also, you won't see any edema or mass effect 
in imaging and just like in the uh, norm uh, the previous video on encephalitis where we mainly discussed viral encephalitis the csf pcr is the confirmatory test now having said that how will we treat pmle unfortunately no definitive treatment has been seen until now and people tried uh, removing the natalizumab but that gave rise to iris however in harrison's it is given that if a patient who is on natalizumab is suspected of having pmle they should immediately be removed and that will give rise to an iris but we will treat them with steroids this has been given in harrison's also a lot of trials have been done in this direction uh, anti malarials have been tried and many other drugs have been tried but uh, no significant effect has been seen one drug i would like you to know is the 5 ht2a antagonist which is mirtazapine although here also no randomized clinical trials have been done but mirtazapine has shown some efficacy and if a patient presents this is the only drug we can give other than going via this route so that brings us to the end of progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy i hope you like this video if you did consider subscribing thank you